Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA made us wait just a little bit longer for one of those SBCs that we were expecting, but it was worth it. Yesterday's SBC content was truly one of the best that we have had this entire year, and it's destroyed a huge part of the market. And prices on the market just keep going down as well. We got to talk about why that's happening and that loading screen, triple threat, hero card design, and the regular card design confirmed. We got to talk about that and how that might impact the market even more today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We also have a new evolution leak and it's making prices move. We got to talk about that. There's a lot going on right now in this game. First of all, yesterday's content, we got to go into the objectives to let you guys know about some cards that are inflated in price that are silvers from the NWSL and Liga Portugal. I think even the MLS a little bit as well as people try to combine these to get these extra packs done, which again, these theme team pursuits, I think it's nice. You get a little bit of XP, you get some packs, but check some silvers in your club from those different uh, leagues because they are up in price. And then also team of the week eight before we start talking about SBCs. Decent team of the week. I mean, you got some nice cards in here. Uh, Chalano glue, you know, there, there's a lot of mid tier cards in here that are decent. Uba Makano, 100K. Paolo Luello is very, very hyped in this team of the week. She is very expensive. She's going to drop off a lot. Her price range is 300 k but it is, a, it is a pretty nice upgrade, right? Some people were talking about the whole thing about a team of the week refresh. I don't think this team of the week is a team of the week refresh. It says here, um, it says the first team of the refresh of FC24 will also feature during the season. I don't think this is that team of the week, though, because this team of the week, to me, just looks like a standard team of the week boost. A lot of the cards got your standard upgrades. Nothing extra going on here. Ter Stegen is extinct at the moment at 120,000 coins. I think he will become unextinct here pretty soon, whether that's via a price range update uh, or him actually being on the market. I don't think he should be 120k. I think he should probably be more around the range of, like, 80k. Um, but, you know, it's close enough. Day one, rarity, so... He's up a lot. And then Usman Dembele, 600,000 coins. Not a bad card. Definitely the top one of the team of the week. One thing to notice is that the entire team of the week is 83 rated and above. And I think I have a theory for that. It's actually because of evolutions, guys. I think that they didn't want a lot of these cards to be able to be just popped right into evolutions. So some of those cards on the lower tier, instead of making them 80 rated, they boosted them to 83, or maybe it's just because all informs right now anyway are 23k. I don't even, I don't know. I'm just taking some guesses, but all the informs in this team of the week are 83 rated, which is very, very interesting. Maybe that's a trend that we will see going forward. Maybe that's what team of the week refresh is. Who knows? They didn't tell us, or I didn't see a pop up yesterday about that, if that is the case. Let's go into SBC content though, because this is where it got busy yesterday. First of all, player upgrade SBCs or player SBCs. We had a showdown. Midge Persh and Jordan Hytema, Alfonso Davies' ex-girlfriend. That's how I remember her as. I mean, a lot of you guys probably do as well. She's also a very good footballer. But this showdown SBC, not the most well-received. But the matchup, of course, is upcoming. And it's cheap to do. 23,000 coins, 36K. They're not the best cards. Um, but you know, if you have some extra fodder, you could think about it. Plus two, it's a final, I believe NWSL final. So it's a plus two guaranteed because there's going to be a winner at the end of it. Uh, it's not going to come in at a draw. So whoever you want to do for the potential win, will get a plus two 87 for high Tema or an 87 for purse. The side eye. That's what I remember her card for <laughs> her base gold dynamic image. has got that crazy side eye going on there. So that's an SBC that we had yesterday, as well as a Centurion's challenge six, which was nice. Nice and cheap. And then, of course, the big one. And this is the SBC we're going to talk about at length today because EA did the business, man. Like, you know, I expect Thiago, Thiago Silva to get a pace boost, right? I was thinking maybe 73, 75, at most 77. And EA went all out. 80 pace for Thiago Silva. 86 sprint speed, 72 acceleration. He's by no means fast. But he gets the job done, and it is the most used, uh, usable Thiago Silva that we've had in a long time. I think it's better than his flashback that we had last year as well. This SBC, I'm going to say it, this is one of the best, if not the best SBC of the entire year. You're going to see this card up until team of the year, and maybe even after that because of his stats, his play styles, and his links and the price. It's just, he checks all the boxes for an insane SBC card. It's Premier League. It's Brazilian. The links are insane. It's 92% upvoted over here on Footbin. Unbelievable. For 150,000 coins only, you can get a Thiago Silva card that 
honestly, if you compare this card to Blanc and to Vidic, it's almost like the exact same card with similar stats to those two players, and it's just a third of the cost, right? Blanc was 400k, Vidic 400k as well, and 150,000 coins for Thiago Silva. This is incredible, honestly. It's such a usable card, such a, uh, a boost that is just insane. Plus 29 pace. They kept his play styles. His play style plus is insane. W dynamic image. Like, you could just rave about this SBC, but it is... It is an SBC that is a must-do. This is a top three SBC of the year for sure, and some will say that it is the best. Now, uh, you get some nice packs back as well, tradable, which is another benefit of doing this SBC. And since everybody is going out and doing this SBC, you can just tell by the market, right? You could tell by the price and the hype and the player that this is going to be super-duper insane. Fodder went up a little bit for this, of course, but what I want to talk about first is center backs are getting absolutely destroyed, specifically center backs from the Premier League and some other Brazilian center backs. But when an SBC, this is a really good like opportunity to talk about some things on the market because SBCs like this don't drop very often, like this much hype for an SBC player, but it impacts the market like crazy. So this is one of your first times, if this is one of your first times seeing this, like soak it in, right? Because this this will happen a couple times throughout the rest of the year, but it is mad how many center backs got absolutely destroyed in price yesterday because of the new Thiago Silva. Now, Ledley King, Varane, Militao, um, especially your Premier League center backs are down so much, but take a look at how big these drops are. 33% on Ledley King. He's 100,000 coins right now. Yesterday before this SBC, he was 150k. Gold to Mori, who is 11,000 coins right now on a lower budget, went from 17k down to 11,000 coins where he is right now. Of course, Militao is down bad. Uh, Virgil van Dijk, Ruben Diaz down horrendous. It's even impacting icons and heroes because this SBC is so good. Like Marquinhos, some of these uh, center backs have actually bounced back a bit. Marquinhos was like 190K, I believe. Yeah, 190 at his lowest. He dropped from 268K down to 191. Here's a card that I watched yesterday a lot because I was very interested in his price. Cordoba went from 400,000 coins to 300k in a day like that's crazy man this is a crazy crazy sbc and so many people are doing it and that is why prices are dropping as much as they are now should you invest this is like oh my goodness nate cordoba being down 100k should i invest in this card no the answer is no because also if you think about how the market is looking right now a lot of people are just not buying cards because there's not a lot of demand. People are a little bit bored of the game. It's November. People are running on tradable teams anyway. I don't think that many of these center backs are going to fare well over time after this for the, even the next couple of days or even into the next week because of how insane this Thiago Silva is. Honestly, I think that some of these, like we just saw Marquinhos has rebounded back up a little bit. Uh, I honestly think that Marquinhos and some of these other center backs that have rebounded back up into the rarity of night uh, are probably going to have some more drops today on Thursday as people are going to go do the Tiago Silva after they get rewards done and sell these cards even down further. So today I would watch for more drops on center backs and maybe then if they go down even further, could you even think about, you could maybe think about making a buy on one of those cards for your team if it's somebody that you've really, really been wanting because of this SBC impacting the market so much. But one thing I would tell you guys is I would stay away from Premier League center backs like that Cordoba, maybe the Marquinhos, maybe like Kunde Trailblazers from a different league, different nation, specifically different league though, uh, and maybe some icon center backs as well. Those would be like the only types of cards that I would really expect to do anything in terms of like rebounding back up in price in somewhat of a soonish time frame. That's just what happens when you get big SBCs like this. Like, remember what happened when, like we mentioned in yesterday's video, we used the example that the Urente hurt center mids, right? For that Centurion's box-to-box -box midfielder evolution, that really hurt center mids. This is hurting center backs on a whole new level because of how insane that SBC is. So, again, we're going to talk about the market a bit more, but for center backs, I'd be very careful. I didn't trade with like any of them yesterday. Um, I have bought like one card right now just to try to flip Cannavaro because he went from like 350k or 340, I think, all the way down to like two. 40 where I picked one up. I'm hoping that I can sell this card at like 260 or 270 and make like 10,000 coins of profit because he's probably just going to fall down even lower 
today on Thursday. Now let's talk about the rest of the market because you're like, well, Nate, I mean, that Thiago Silva didn't make my Vinny drop or didn't make my Mbappe drop, right? Well, no, not really, because these cards were dropping before the content drop yesterday. How much is Vinny Jr. right now? 770K? He's back up a little bit. This card was 720 and there are fluctuations. We'll talk about this. There are a lot of fluctuations on this market right now. But the top tier meta market and a lot more of your expensive cards had drops like this yesterday. Vinny went down from 850 all the way to 720, went back up to 770, back down to 740, back up to 780. Like he's having these big drops, but then a couple of fluctuations in there as well. Mbappe is pretty low. Puteas is pretty low. Hansen is pretty low. Your, your top tier market. You know, like Mbappe dropping from 3.1 down to 2.9, that's a drop, but it's not as big of a drop as we were ever going to see on these top tier cards. It's just that like these cards were a little bit behind. It's kind of like they're they're ahead of the power curve in the game, but they're a little bit behind the power curve in terms of, uh, you know, the behind the times in terms of the market crash, right? Like even this uh, Caroline Graham Hansen Trailblazers card, she was 2.5 mil on the weekend, 2.3 yesterday. She dropped off some, but not a lot. This is a card that I still think is going to continue to go lower. Some of these really insane top tier pro tier cards as well are getting sold off because of the pro ladder, like some of the pro event stuff slowing down and, and some of those pros probably selling their teams. That definitely has a market impact here. But guys, these cards are not done dropping at all. They are going to continue to drop more. Puteas went from 580 to 480 and went back up to 570. She's 550 right now. These cards like Vinny, like Mbappe, those top tier upper echelons, including the heroes and the icons, I think they are going to continue to drop. They just hadn't dropped enough yet. And that's why some of their price drops yesterday were like so drastic seeming and insane. It was just because they hadn't dropped off as much as some of the gold cards had. Like Hyunmin Sun went from 750 down to 600,000 coins. He's still too overpriced, in my opinion. Even though the player of the month SBC is out and actually going to be going away, I still think this card is, is overpriced because it's rare and it's very meta and it's pretty popular, but it's going to keep going down in the way that this market is right now. Uh, guys, I don't expect very many rises on the market in general today. It's rewards day. You're like, Nate, really? Like the market's not going to go up that much today? I don't think so, man. A few cards here or there could be decent to trade with, but the, the way that this game seems right now, so many people have been losing coins because of the SBCs and the evolutions that have been draining coins off the market. But then also with that, this market crash is really hurting people's wallets as well. And prices just continue to drop on a lot of these cards. And it just seems like there's maybe a little bit of a lack of gameplay demand. Think about it, right? We talked about it this weekend. Uh, you know, the Fortnite has come out with the update. People are really hyped playing that game. You've got Call of Duty that's coming out this weekend as well. It's more players on this game that maybe would take a break to go try something new and fun. So I'm really not liking the way this market looks. It's really just a great time to be untradeable. I really think that prices are gonna keep dropping as well as we get closer and closer to Black Friday, which is once again, just another reason to be as untradeable as you possibly can. What? DePaul is 290? I literally just sold, just, uh, sold this guy for 270. I bought a couple DePauls yesterday at 230,000 coins. Um, and he did go back up to 270. I thought that was his peak. <laughs> Bro just went to 290. That's insane. Now, if you wanna trade and get active at all in the market, this is what I want to show you. It's risky, but you see these graphs, right? You see these big drop-offs. Lewandowski went down 100,000 coins from 640 to 540. And wait, he went back up to 600,000 coins just a bit ago, right? There are opportunities to trade. I did it yesterday with Enzo Francescoli, the brand new hero card. He is how much? 543. All right, I did a good flip on him, man, because I bought him right here for like 515. On his way back up, I was actually able to snipe one. I sold him for 570 literally an hour after he hit his low point here. You have these rare cards that are very popular that have fluctuations. I think Wayne Rooney's regular icon was another one yesterday that I was watching. Rooney went from 630 all the way down to 540K, rebounded back up to where he is right now, 580K. So there are fluctuation opportunities. You just have to really, you have to put in a lot of work. You got to watch the card on the market. You have to know that it's rare and it's popular. And even inside of a market right now where not a lot of people are buying, you have to find a card that people would still want to buy, which would probably not be too many center backs right now as well. Some of the road to the knockouts are good to do this with icons. I'd be careful with heroes though, because of what's coming with the next promo. But some of those cards you could potentially trade with today. It's just very 
risky. Now, I do have an investment for you guys that I think will work very well today because of content, and I'll talk about that in a second. But just to kind of round up the market situation and more market impact today, triple threat loading screen dropped yesterday, and it was the regular car design, which we knew, and this is the hero car design, which we also talked about in yesterday's video with the Ginola concept on it. Um, I hope we learn more today. Like, still, the premise of this promo is unknown completely, but we think we know what it is based off of the objectives and everything that we saw from the season, right? The season is called Triangles, and at level 10, level 15, and level 19, right, we've got all of these guys that are same nation, same league, not the same club, but they've got the same nation and they've got the same club links, and it's almost like it's going to form a triangle. You could technically take all those guys and link them together, and it almost sounds like that's how this promo is somehow going to work out. Not entirely sure if that's the case or not. Uh, that's kind of our just best guess right now at the moment. But I think today with that loading screen being dropped, I think we're going to start to learn more about the promo today. I think we're going to start to see more leaks, more probably panic on the market honestly around heroes i'm a little worried about heroes today guys because i know we're all thinking about the champions league heroes that are coming out at the end of this month and like the free pre-order hero pack that a lot of us are going to be getting but um you know we're getting probably some new versions of heroes even this weekend with these triple threat hero cards that's what this is once again little crown on top of the football that's the hero logo. So I would watch out for leaks and info today. Maybe an updated loading screen. We'll cover it as it happens. As always, we'll talk about everything that's going on. But I don't know. That's just another thing to really not like the market right now. Now, one part of the market that is up is right backs. I don't know if you noticed Juan Basaka or I think Molina is another one that is up. Um, Lucas Vasquez, maybe Carvajal. A lot of right backs are going up on the market right now because there is a leak about a new evolution for that position. You take a look at some of the right backs that are up in price. Diogo Dalo is another one. Um, Nelson Semedo, you might notice him on the top of the footbin most popular list. He is up a ton as well. These cards went from like literally discard value, 750 on Wambasaka, up to 5,000 coins. A lot of people are doing Nelson Semedo, of course, because of his links to other Evo players that you maybe have already completed. Again, guys, this is the stuff that people got banned before earlier on this year. I have been hearing more reports of people getting unbanned who were banned in the first place. So it sounds like EA knows that something is messed up and they are unbanning people. But if you don't want to mess with it or risk it, just be careful with these. Just don't buy too many of them if you're going to try to invest. But watch for some right backs. We don't know the exact requirements, of course, but it's got a lot of people investing in these already. And just another reminder of what happened last time when everybody was buying Konate at 7,000 coins. And then, of course, the Evo came out. It wasn't that good. And now he's back down to literally discard price. That sort of situation could happen again. And we don't know when the Evo is dropping. We had Evos in the past on Thursdays. Um, but this could be Friday, as, of course, that leak said. So we'll just have to see um, right now in this game what that looks like but i wanted to point that out if you want to trade it all you could look at those cards it'd be a little risky right very risky trading with stuff like that but it could work out for you now let's talk today thursday content what do we expect rivals rewards once again i gotta try to get some games in to finish this off but um rivals rewards today it's gonna give some people some more fodder to go and do sbcs which is gonna point us towards my favorite investment for today and guess what it's fodder once again. I'm still lazy selling the 82s every single hour that I can, but today we're getting an upgrade SBC that's going to refresh itself. The 84 plus RTTK upgrade refreshes today at content as well as the 85 plus. And there is a certain part of the fodder market right now that looks a bit too cheap. I'm not even really sure why these prices are dropping off, except for the fact that maybe people expect them to go down with rivals rewards but everybody's going to be buying 83s once again today guys and they are 1.9k 1.9k for all these 83s that were once uh on tuesday when this sbc first released like 3,000 coins so here's what i would tell you to do during rewards today this is almost like if the same feeling as we had on monday when we bought those 85s right these cards were 1700 coins before this the sbc's came out on tuesday right the 84 plus rttk and the 85 plus upgrade before they went to two and a half thousand coins and these cards were almost all 3,000 coins at a point as well Here's what I will tell you to do. Hop on some bids for 83s. See if you can get like 1.7K because I would be 
almost certain that a lot of these 83s would go back to being about 2.5K. It's not insane profit per card. And I know you have supply today with marquee matchups. And I know that you've got um, the Rivals Rewards supplies. People are still taking tradable rewards as well. They could hurt their prices a bit. But I would tell you to still get on some bids for these cards. In a market right now that is so uncertain, this is a place where you can probably make some coins, get some lazy sales at the very least. And it would be a very good place to be putting some coins today, right? I still have a bunch of 82s, but I'm probably going to try to dip into some 83s. Um, and, and at least just try to catch a couple, right? Again, let's see how these guys are looking on the market. 2,000 coins for Danny Olmo. Yeah, he's there, man. And are these investors that are selling because they're worried about supply? Uh, two, yeah, these are investors selling, or a lot of them are. Yeah, I think this is an opportunity, guys. I think this is an opportunity. 1.7K on bid. Let's see if we can look at any bids and see how low they're going. Um, but I, I have to imagine, ooh, 1.5, sign me up. Uh, okay, just kidding. That already got bid on, but... Yeah, 1.7K, I would... Okay, you're bidding 2K? Well, I'll just go buy one now for 1.9. <laughs> Crazy, man. Stock a couple of these in your transfer list. Stock a couple in the club because I think it's going to bring some profits your way today. Uh, also, got to shout this out. Last day of the cup, and I'm shouting this out a little bit for myself too because I'm behind. But uh, the cup does... It's kind of a necessary friendly mode to play this week even though it's a little bit sweaty and annoying and it's only four games a day. Uh, got to get those... Got to get those um, packs and the XP from the objective section. So make sure you do that. And again, I think there could be a few prices that move a little bit today uh, because there is, of course, you know, the foot champs, qualities, gameplay, the demand that's going to be there today more so than the last couple of days. I just don't, I just don't love the way the market's looking right now. Um, and I'm going to be very careful with it. So just be careful with your coins. I would try to stay as untradeable if you, as you can. And once again, I do think prices are going to keep dropping downwards. So be very careful with what you maybe have your coins in right now. But fodder still looks decent. We'll probably talk about some fodder once again tomorrow. Watch the higher rated stuff. Just one last thing to leave you with. I don't think I'm personally investing in high rated now. I'm going to wait until next week just to see what it looks like. But we've got a Muhammad Salah play of the month is coming out. And I know a lot of people would want to do it. And high rated fodder is what people would have to buy to get that done. So just keep an eye on that. If it drops today, could be an entry opportunity. But personally, I think I've decided I'm going to stay away from it for now. And maybe look for that a little bit later. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. But Nate, the account. Catch you guys there. Peace. Out.